it's almost time for me to start making this Bermuda lawn updates. It's taking a longer time for it to fill in because I did put ryegrass and I think there's a little competition going on between uh, the early startup between the, the remaining ryegrass and the up, you know, awakening, awakening Bermuda. Nevertheless, it'll get here, it'll be awakened. I probably won't do ryegrass ever again. Now, usually it grows back and it's a full common Bermuda lawn. I've yet to get to the, uh, I had a lot of aspirations for this lawn, never got around to doing a lot of it. Uh, I've just been kind of maintaining it, not really showing it as much love as the front yard, but there's a story behind this grass. So we all know the story of my fescue lawn here, which is, I've been doing it for a while. All of this fescue and everything I learned about it, the intentions were to have it in the front and in the, and in the back. So with that being said, I put a like a week's worth, two weeks worth of non-selected herbicides out on this thing and uh, tried to kill everything. I uh, tilled it as much as I could, then put reapplied the non-selective herbicide on it and um, I had a sprinkle malfunction so I didn't get to plant the fescue in the back which ended up being the best thing for me because look what came back. I didn't plant not one uh, single seed or laid any sod of Bermuda back here, not one. Yet I killed it all in the worst way possible and it still came back. Therefore, I have strong beliefs about Bermuda. Common Bermuda, actually, I, I can't vouch for any other Bermuda, but I can tell you right now that the old, old saying of alpha grass is 1,000% true. And for the people that would get on my comments and tell me, oh, you didn't do X, Y, and Z, this, that, and the other, you can kill Bermuda. You can't. And you may be able to control it, but you are forever control it. It's not a kill it off, it's done. If I had a St. Augustine yard, I kill every ounce of St. Augustine in there. Forever, I have no St. Augustine, no matter what I do. It's not coming back. And that's for any other type of grass. So... Uh, other than maybe some centipede or something like that but this Bermuda cannot be killed I can put something out on it every year to try to keep it under control keep it from uh, coming up through the turf that's here but it cannot be killed in fact the only thing that you can use to control this or stop it is shade that's about the only thing you're gonna do to, to forever stop it from growing is put out some type of shade to where it's not gonna get eight hours a day of sunlight but anyway I got her uh, aerated I got her dethatched raked up and cleaned up and it really started starting to uh, come alive here I will be trying to do some projects back here, mainly uh, level, put a level on it, level it, and the I had to put a hold on the reel more. I may try to do the, the mechanical reel more first because all the reel mores cost a lot, and I kind of don't want to spend the money, but the goal is to get this to be a stellar Bermuda lawn back here and as the uh, season begins 
that starts with this Bermuda is kind of ending with the uh, fescue in the front. We're just going to be on survival mode coming up in a couple months for the fescue while this is going to be on thriving mode. So with that being said, I hope you guys will uh, stay connected and in touch and drop any of your tidbits about Bermuda, common Bermuda, uh, down in the comments. So uh, with your help, I can have an amazing Bermuda lawn.